Animal Crossing has recently been released. Thankfully, this just about coincided with the UK lockdown in response to COVID-19. Because of this, everyone's been locked inside, distancing themselves from real life, by being indebted to the lecherous raccoon Thomas de Fefelnook and his two sons Pain and Panic. Of course, the fact that our only friends during this time of social distancing happen to be Tom and the various villages around the island, things get a bit, uh, fuck it, I mean, uh, I just want to be able to talk to my new friends. Is that too much to ask? It's not perverse, it's wholesome. I want to tell Isabel that her hairdo rocks. I want to compliment Ursula on her singing. I want to tell Mr. Nookie what his little get-up is fucking- But we have an issue here. The friends we've made on the island all speak a weird dialect, and this language barrier is going to be a point of friction. So, in this video, I'm going to answer the question, burning in our hearts. How do I speak the language of Animal Crossing? I dived into the deep lore, desperate to understand this mysterious language, and how to speak it. On initial reading, I found that in the world of Animal Crossing, there are actually three spoken languages. Animalies, Bibibis, and a third language, known as Silence. Rather than saying the words as they appear, Animalese is spoken by pronouncing each of the letters of the word independently. For example, Hello World becomes Bebebees is spoken by pronouncing a series of Bebe noises, and finally, Silence, the trickiest of the three languages to communicate in. It's spoken like so. Now, as of the age of New Leaf, the Silence language has faded into obscurity, so we shan't bother with that one. And even Bebebees is only spoken by the snowmen, who I most definitely don't want to fuck- I mean, um, talk to, uh, so we should stick to animalies. But, just to add further complication, modern animalies also throws in some bubbabees to act as placeholders in speech, to indicate punctuation, or to indicate what they're saying is aside from the main sentence, such as murmuring or talking to oneself. Interestingly, we can infer from this that bubbabees is also used to censor some language, which is great because now we know how to swear in Animal Crossing. Okay, research done, we know what we're up against, let's get to the solution. Firstly, I need to capture some audio to serve as the base for this translator. I start by recording myself speech each and every letter in the English alphabet, along with a couple of common digraphs. This would serve as the base of the animalese language. For bebebees, I'm going to capture that from game audio, because for the most part, it's just repeated beeping. I found this on the video game resource forums, but it involved listening to, not joking, thousands of audio files to get the right one. I create a script that takes in an argument, that argument being the phrase we want to say. Firstly, we'll process the phrase a bit, so we can make it a bit easier to parse. We're going to replace common swear words with asterisks, this way it'll be interpreted as bebebees. Also, all the text between brackets is going to be replaced with asterisks, again, to interpret it as bebebees. Then, we read through the phrase character by character, at each step reading the corresponding audio file for the alphanumeric characters and the bebebees audio for the symbols, and then concatenating this all into one big audio file. Let's have a listen. Okay, that's something, but it doesn't sound quite right. It currently sounds like a northerner speaking French. We want to get the accent right just for authenticity, so let's try speeding it up a bit and changing the pitch. Let's see how that sounds. There we go, much more Animal Crossing y. And honestly, this sounds pretty good. I mean, I could spend all day tweaking it, and after finishing this video, I probably will, but Mr. Nook won't wait for me. Let's test this out on Sky here. Well, that was embarrassing. But hey, they understood what I said, which is the important part. Now we can spend the entire lockdown on our Animal Crossing islands without any cultural friction. A peaceful and harmonious existence. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why not give it a like? And if you really liked it, and you want to see more, consider hitting that subscribe button. Check the description for a link to download the source code so you can have a play with it yourself. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got a date with a very attractive raccoon.